Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Today, we're going for a ride. I had a bit of a, I won't say a brainstorm, but I had an idea. Now, I haven't used my Sony X3000 setup in the vehicle for months, basically because, you know, we went into pandemic shutdown, so I wasn't on the road at all, really. And that's where I used to shoot the majority of my videos when I was on the road. And I had my setup on my dashboard and, and it was good for the X3000 and no problem. And I didn't have any external audio set up to that or anything along those lines. What I did do though, is in my Impala, I used to have my Manfrotto monopod attached to the center column and the seat frame and all that kind of stuff to make sure that it was on there really good. That monopod just been, it was sitting in the back and then I cleaned out the, the Forerunner and tried to uh, make everything, I don't know, cleaner, tidier. And I did, I mean, it was just sitting in the garage at that point. So I decided that I was going to reinstall that since I already have this Ram mount, uh, what used to be a laptop holder and then I switched it out and I got a tray to hold my company iPad. So when it gets right down to it, I wanted to put this monopod back on here and I put a ball head on the top of it so that I could mount the Sony ZV-1 basically to the column that's already there. So I went through my garage and I grabbed a bunch of stuff and I came up with a way to, to, to sort of like bolt it onto the column of this Ram mount, which is on there sturdy because that has a, has a big like stainless steel base that gets bolted into or underneath and integrated into the seat track so it's in there. It ain't going anywhere. It's not bouncing or any of that shit. And I'm trying to decide now if I need to put something like down below to make it, you know, a, a, just a, I don't know, a little bit sturdier. Now it's shitty out, it's raining. There's a lot of construction, you know that. So I'm gonna take this thing for a ride. Now, when I had it mounted on the dashboard, you know, people had asked me when I showed how sturdy it was driving through the crappy streets of Virginia Beach, that it was as sturdy as it was. You know, I mean, the ZV-1 is amazing with the active steady shot on. And if you have it mounted in, into your truck chassis, then, you know, it's gonna work well. Now, I don't know what this is gonna look like. I do have the ZV-1 mounted on a ball head, which is of course mounted onto my Manfrotto monopod, which is then bolted together to my Ram mount. I have the ZV-1 on active steady shot as always. I mean, it, nothing's changed. The, the camera's set up the way that it's set up. Now, the reason that I ended up having to do this was because when I tried to install it onto my dashboard setup there, where I did it before, because I've added this external power thing, it's changed it now. It, it has made it uh, too high and it bumps into the windshield because of the angle of the windshield and it, it, it didn't work. So then I thought, well, screw it. I've got this monopod just sitting around. Let me see what that looks like. Now, I mean, I can see obviously when I had bumps and stuff that, that this is, you know, it, it's moving. I don't know how badly it's moving. You know, I'll have to check and see when I get back. I don't think that it's like sliding or, or, or really that bad. It's just standard vehicle movement and it would be just as bad regardless of where I, where I have it mounted. It's basically a very rainy, shitty day out. This video turned into this because it's such a rainy, shitty day. I grabbed the camera and I was gonna go outside and film and it was so awful out and it's just been pouring that there's no way that I'm gonna film outside. So I grabbed everything and I went to three ships and got coffee and came home. And then I thought, oh yeah, all right, I wanted to check to see if this monopod thing worked. And uh, I was just gonna zip tie it to the thing and realized that that's probably not very sturdy. So I found a couple of uh, like pipe fitting brackets and some bolts that I got for another project that, that I probably never did. I had to drill the holes bigger because they weren't big enough to accommodate the bolts. I didn't really have the proper bit for that and I broke the bit and blah, blah, blah. But you know, that's the fun of a, of a do-it-yourself project is that you get to go through and sort of jerry-rig everything together. Now, when I had it over on the center dashboard, it got less of the window, so it probably wasn't as, as blown out as it, as it is, or it's always gonna be. But there's nothing I can do about that because there's nowhere else for me to mount this monopod that'll work and that'll make sense. One of the reasons that I'm doing this as well is because since I'm not on the road that much, but I'm still always driving around and all that kind of stuff, I miss a lot of filming time and you miss a lot of time of spending time together 
when I'm out driving around doing shit, I figured I, I need to start bringing you guys along, you know, and then I can pour out my ideas and my thoughts whilst I'm driving around all over Timbuktu. The other test today is that I'm using the Rode Wireless Go with the ZV-1 for the first time. I thought, hey, well, as long as I'm testing stuff, let, let's see how this all fits and works together and all that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to uh, take this in and see how it looks Well, after I film everything so that you can see what it all looks like. So this is all what I'm talking about. This is that setup that, that bolts into the seat tracks. And then I put a bunch of squishy foam stuff on it so that my wife wouldn't bash her legs and her feet and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't look pretty, but it does the job. And then what I did, obviously you can see here, as I got these metal pieces and I had to drill the hole bigger to accommodate these bolts. And then I just used some big washers and wrapped it around. Again, nothing pretty, but it's on there pretty good. And then I just put the monopod and the monopod isn't going anywhere like the entire rig is shaking. Then I put the ball head on there and I had that all cinched down and I could spin it as I want. Now the way that I did this was it's only extended up a little bit because I didn't want it like too high up here, but I can always lift that up higher if I need to. And you can see like this is the angle that I'm coming in at. Okay, so there you go. That was today's project. I think it turned out pretty good. I haven't looked at the footage yet, but I'm sure that it looks fine. That's all I wanted to show you. If you have any questions or, or comments or suggestions about what you saw that I did here, let me know. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up. I can't put my thumb up because I'm holding coffee, and that's more important, but you get the idea.